Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about how to look timeless and build a very classic looking wardrobe. I've done this video more focusing in on luxury accessories, but I've not really covered it from a general wardrobe items perspective. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm splitting the video into two parts. So the first part are my general tips on how to approach shopping for classic looking pieces in your wardrobe. And the second part of the video is naming the 10 pieces, which I think a super classic will hopefully work in most people's wardrobes and that I myself have owned for many years. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started. So my first tip is to pay attention to color and I always say when in doubt go for neutrals which I know is a boring one but neutrals are popular for a reason and they also look very classic for a reason. Things which tend to be very functional and easy to wear and easy to pair tend to stick around because people like to gravitate towards things that are easy to wear and always look good. So neutrals are always very, very classic. And for me, if I was building up my wardrobe from scratch again, it's absolutely what I would make a beeline for. And when I'm saying classic colors and neutrals, I'm thinking here of black, white, beige, gray, even a navy blue, just very, very simple colors that you'll be able to swap in and out and will really form the building blocks of your wardrobe. I always hear so much about colors of the moment and color trends. I was reading a trend report the other day that told me that buttermilk yellow was a huge trend this season. And that's all well and good, but unless I already like that color, I very rarely add kind of trendy colors to my wardrobe, just because there are much easier ways, I think, to incorporate trends that will have a little bit more longevity in terms of how long you'll be wearing and enjoying them and thinking that they're still kind of in style and looking of the moment. So. I always stay away from colors, you know, I don't want a wardrobe full of neon greens and pinks, which if I followed color trends is what I'd have. So I'd always say trends are great, but I personally stick to neutral color trends just to get a little bit more bang for my buck. Once you do have those building blocks of really great neutral colors that are easy to swap in and out, then it's a great time to add more color in. And even within the spectrum of more kind of colorful colors, I think there are more neutral options. So now we're obviously more into the colder months and colors that come around every single year when we get to autumn winter are deep burgundies and deep wine colors even dark greens olive tones camel colors you know these colors are very very classic we see them every single year and they are enduringly popular for a reason so even when adding pops of color it's fully possible to do so in a classic way just pay attention to what consistently comes back year after year and anytime i walk into the shops as soon as the autumn collection start arriving that's all i see so it's not a tricky thing to kind of hunt down just keep in mind that the more classy your colors the more wear you're likely to be able to get out of them My second tip is to keep your silhouettes clean and your tailoring sharp. I talk a fair bit about tailoring on this channel, but I really think it's so, so important, especially when it comes to the colder months where we do see more blazers and coats and things like that. Tailoring is so important and it's also just a very, very easy way to look pulled together in an instant. And especially when it comes to looking at classic pieces, you know, I very rarely pay attention to trends when it comes to tailoring, just because it's not something that really changes too much you know the last time I can really think of a drastic style change in terms of tailoring was the 80s when double-breasted suits and coats were all the rage we've now moved to a more kind of streamlined silhouette which I am very happy about because I think it's the most flattering and it's been like that for years and years now and yes, oversized tailoring is having a bit of a moment, but if I was investing in one solid piece and whatever that might be, you know, whether that's a jacket, a blazer, coat, whatever it is, I would always go for classic. You know, I mentioned in previous videos, my go-to is a single breasted mid-length coat. It's just very easy to wear. It never looks out of style and you'll be able to wear it for decades. Oversized styles might look great right now, but it's likely going to have a shorter shelf life. So when in doubt, always go for very clean silhouettes and very tailored sharp cuts. 
Which ties into my next point, which is when in doubt, go for flattering. Flattering fits and cuts never go out of style because it's a universal truth that most people when getting dressed, they want to look good and flattering fits do just that. So I always say when in doubt, you know, if you find something that you love that you think is super flattering, regardless of whether it's on any trends list or anything like that, I would always say to go for it. Some of my favorite pieces that I've had in my wardrobe for years, which I do consider to be very classic, I still remember the first time that I tried them on because I instantly tried it on and just felt great in it. I felt really confident and I thought the item was very, very flattering. So those are always the pieces that get the most usage in my wardrobe and you're never going to go wrong if you go for an item that's flattering. And it's also a big reason why a lot of the items that we do see return year after year are just those very, very flattering pieces at their core. So here I'm thinking of a classic pump is a great example, you know? You always will have statement shoes with crazy straps and chains and things like that, but a simple, very classic pump will always be in fashion because it looks great on everyone, it's easy to pair, it elongates the legs, so it always makes you look great. And just one of those items that's never going to go out of style as a result. The same can be said for a pencil skirt or a tailored coat, you know. There are so many examples of very classic items that are just so flattering to the wearer that they will always be in style. So that's a very, very good guiding point if you are struggling with what to go for. Just go for the item that you look great in and you can't go wrong. My next tip is to look to the past for inspiration. There are so many outfits and individual pieces which are so classic that have been around for not just years, but for decades. I was doing research for this video and I was looking at one of my favorite style icons, Audrey Hepburn, and it was crazy how classic looking her outfits were and how also very of the moment they were. So it's not that they just look classic in an old fashioned sense, but if you took her individual outfits and just put them on someone today, I still think that they would look incredibly of the moment and very, very relevant, you know? And that's what a great classic outfit does and that's why so many of the very famous style icons are style icons because they put together outfits which are flattering and classic looking and just pieces that people always want to wear. And here I'm thinking of things like a nice striped shirt with a red lipstick or even some cropped trousers with a nice button down and some ballet flats or even a trench coat, you know. There are some pieces which are truly, truly timeless and we've seen them decade after decade. So that is always a good one if you want some inspiration. Look at some older style icons and see some of the items that they wore back then that we're still seeing today because that is a surefire way to identify those really, really classic pieces that do truly stand the test of time. And my fifth tip is to identify those classic pieces and invest in quality where you can. I don't think this applies to absolutely everything and it kind of ties in with the second part of my video where I'm going to be sharing the 10 classic pieces that will hopefully work in most people's wardrobes, but I'm also going to be sharing whether I saved or splurged with that individual item and whether I thought that was necessary or not. But I always say that if you can invest in quality, it's always a good idea to do so, especially when it comes to very classic items. You know, I always say that if you buy well, you only have to buy once. And I think it's so true when it comes to those great wardrobe staples that you'll just be able to reuse for so many years. So I'm gonna share here the 10 items which I think are very, very classic and I've owned these for quite a while. I have one or two newer pieces, but they are always replacements. So I've owned the type of item for years and years and they've done me really well. These are more leaning towards winter just because we are now in the colder months. I've taken out any very specifically summer items, but I'm happy to do a summer variation of this video if you guys are interested in that when we do get to the hotter months. So first up is the striped shirt. I love striped shirts. I always have at least one in my wardrobe. I think now I have three at the moment. They are so great. And what I love about them, apart from the fact that they are very timeless and you'll just be able to wear them for years, is the fact that you can slip them on and even if you just pair it with a pair of jeans and flats, it instantly looks like you've put a lot of thought into your outfit because it looks so poor together. 
I especially love it with a red lipstick. I think that's such a fun combination. My one is actually more of a knit one. I got this as a replacement fairly recently, actually. I got this from H&M and I think it was less than £20, so a really good price and I do think that a striped shirt is an easy way to save. You know, I have experimented with buying more quality ones and spending more, but they've lasted me about the same time, so this is definitely an area where I like to save. You can find great fitting ones on the high street. They don't cost too much money and it's just such a classic piece that you'll be able to wear for years. My next piece is the classic silk shirt and this is one that I've had from Theory and I think I've had this for four years now so it's been going for a while. I still wear this all the time. I reach for a lot and something like this is so classic that it goes equally well with a pair of jeans as it does with a pencil skirt. So I really love items that can go from day to evening. I like items that I can wear for work but I can also wear casually and that also helps to justify the cost if you are investing in a piece as well. If I'm only going to wear something casually, it does limit the usage. So I like to kind of cross items where I can and that just enables me to invest in a slightly nicer version. This one from Theory, as I mentioned, I've had it for a while. It was a great buy. It is pure silk. It is very nice quality and Theory is always really, really great with the quality of their fabrics and their fits. I'm a huge fan of them. And regardless of whether you get this in white or black, I just think this is the most useful item, you know, especially if you do work in a more formal environment. You'll be able to get a lot of use out of it during your working hours, but you'll also be able to transition this to casual wear as well. So I do think that a silk shirt is worth the investment and spending a little bit more. You don't have to go to theory level of pricing because I do know that this is a very, very pricey brand, but I do think it's worth spending a bit more on something like a silk shirt, especially if you're going to take care of it because you will be able to get a lot of mileage out of it. And speaking of theory, I did also want to mention this crew neck that I got, which is also from theory. I love this and I would recommend a shorter crew neck to anyone. I get so much use out of mine, particularly because these are great for both teaming with jeans and also skirts. So I wear these a lot with midi skirts just tucked in, which is why I'd always recommend the short length as well. You can get a lot of crew necks which are quite long in the body, which are nice for jeans, but they're quite tricky to wear with skirts because if you did want to tuck them in, you just have a lot of excess material. So I would always look out for those which are a little bit shorter. And this one from Theory is great. I've really been liking it, but this is one area where I think you can actually save. I do have a version from Uniqlo, which is almost identical. 100% cashmere, so it wasn't super cheap, but I think it was 65 or 70 pounds, so certainly cheaper than the Theory version, and it's done me really well. I've owned this for quite a few years, so definitely possible. You obviously don't have to get cashmere, in which case you'll be able to save even more, but I would highly recommend a crew neck, especially in a neutral color like black, gray, or white. I get so much usage out of mine. They're really great, and it's a nice one to save on as well. Swapping clothes out for a boot pick now, and I talk a lot about over the knee boots on my channel. I own a few of them from Stuart Weitzman, and I love the ones I own to bits, but I'd say if you wanted to go very, very classic, as in looking to the next decade or so, I'd say a riding boot is a really, really great pick. I have had these for five years, I think. They are from LK Bennett, I believe. Yeah, LK Bennett. It's a very classic style. This is the kind of boot that just gets reproduced every single year. Tory Burch does a version. I think LK Bennett continues to do them. You'll be able to find them from many, many brands, both designer and also on the high street. And it's such an easy one to pair. You know, these look great with skirts, but they're also good with just jeans and a pea coat. It's a very classic looking style. You know, there's nothing too cutting edge about it, but because it is a very neutral and clean cut it just stands the test of time I think so riding boots are a really nice option particularly if you didn't even like the over the knee boot style if you wanted something that's going to see you through for many years I think this is a great option Next up is the t-shirt, and I guess this is the most summary one out of everything I'm talking about today, but I wear white t-shirts all year round. They are an absolute wardrobe essential for me, 
and this is a nice one to save on ish so I'd say and I have experimented with this extensively I have bought many many very cheap and expensive versions from H&M from Zara you know kind of five pounds that kind of price range and I'd say it is worth it to spend a little bit more. This one is from Halogen. I think this was around the 25 mark. Um, I will link it down below, but this is the best white t-shirt I've come across. And I think of all the money I spent and wasted on really cheap t-shirts that have lasted literally one wash and it's just not worth it. So this certainly isn't break the bank expensive, um, but I do think it's worth spending a little bit more just to get nicer quality. And I love everything about this. You know, it's very soft, so it's very comfortable to wear. And these are so great with everything from a pair of jeans to a skirt, just such an essential good for layering as well. And if you find one that you love, that's also nice quality, it will continue to look good even after you wash and wear it and kind of go through that cycle. So. I love this one, a white t-shirt is a wardrobe essential for me and this is a great pick. Next up is an item that I mentioned earlier and it is the classic pump and I actually have three versions right here just to demonstrate my love of the classic pump. I have them in every variation, every color and I cannot get enough of this shoe because it goes with everything. It's a no brainer. There are very comfortable versions out there. There are uncomfortable versions as well but the ones I have are very comfortable and I just love them to bits. So in terms of a stiletto version, my favorite is without a doubt the classic suede pumps from Jean Vita Rossi. These are very comfortable for what is an extremely high heel. And no doubt these are not slippers so you're not going to be able to go hiking in them or anything like that. But for what is a very, very high shoe, they are very comfortable. They kind of mold to your feet and I love these. I also have a block heel version as well, which is a little bit lower. These are great and I wear these a ton. I've talked about them a lot on this channel. These are great if I do have a lot of walking to do that day or I just wanna make sure that I have a very comfortable shoe. This is what I go for. And then I also have a lower heeled stiletto version from LK Bennett. This is the Florette Pump and these are my go-to for work. They are the perfect heel height, just enough height to give me a boost, but not so high that I'm not gonna be able to last all day in them. So. Huge fan of these, but in general, a huge fan of the classic pump. They are a go anywhere shoe for me and they always, always look good. Next up is the biker jacket. And this is one that I've had for, I think seven years now in my wardrobe. I went for a fabric version, but regardless of what you go for, whether that is a fabric version, a full leather version, or a faux leather version, I think the biker jacket is such a classic style and it's such a go anywhere piece. And it's been popular for decades now for very good reason, you know? It's so easy to achieve that edgy look if that's what you're going for, but it's also a great one to throw on over a really feminine dress and just toughen up a little bit and balance the whole outfit out. So. I love mine, I still wear it all the time even though I've owned it for seven years now. It's really a go-to piece and this is another great one where you can save if you want to, you know. It's very easy to splurge if you did want to go for a full leather version and really invest in a quality piece and I think that's a great idea if you think you'll get the wear out of it. But there are some great faux leather options out there which obviously if you only wear faux leather is a great thing but they are also often a lot cheaper as well as our fabric versions as well. So definitely a good one to save on if you want to, also a good one to splurge on. It just depends what your budget and priorities are, but certainly a biker jacket is an essential wardrobe piece for me. And on the slightly more formal side is the classic blazer. Anyone that's watched any of my fashion videos over the past couple of years will probably know how much I love blazers. I find them so useful and so great for just throwing on over anything really. And it instantly makes you look so much more pulled together. I have so many variations in my wardrobe and I have all kinds of different price points. And this is another one similar to the biker jacket where I fully think it's possible to splurge and get a beautiful version that will last you years but I also think it's really possible to save if you're willing to hunt a little bit and find a great fitting version that will also see you through a very very long time. My favorite high street options are usually Zara. They often do great blazers. I found great ones from H&M as well and sometimes ASOS as well. So those are my three go-tos if I'm after a more budget friendly blazer. This one right here is one of my favorites and this is from J Crew. 
I did get it during the Nordstrom anniversary sale, so I did get it for a little bit cheaper. So I'd say this is kind of more mid-range, but I've certainly gotten a lot of usage out of this. I've definitely gotten my money's worth. And if you do find a great one, you will be able to wear it for so long if you do take care of it. So huge fan of blazers. They are definitely a staple for me. Down to my last two items now, and they are both coat items, so definitely more for the cold weather, albeit the first one is more of a transitional piece, but it is the trench coat. Trench coats have been popular for, again, decades, and for good reason. Not only are they very chic, I think, but they're also very practical as well, especially when it's kind of in between those warmer months and those super cold months where you don't want to go for a full wool coat, but you still need a little bit more coverage. A trench coat is a great option. It's obviously also great if you live in a rainy city like I do, like London, so it comes in handy for that reason as well. This is another area where, very similar to the jackets, I think it's possible to both splurge and save in. My one is definitely more on the expensive side, so my one is from Burberry. I do think that it is worth the splurge, just because Burberry trenches are so classic and you'll be able to wear them for years and years and years. But I've also owned trench coats from the high street and they've worked out really well as well. So. This is another one where it's possible to do both and I don't think you'll go too wrong. A trench coat is such a great item just to throw over anything. It works both casually with jeans but also fully dressed up with a skirt or a dress. Very versatile and just eternally chic and stylish. And finally, for my very last item, I do have the classic tailored coat. And this is at the risk of being very boring and predictable, but I just don't think that you can go wrong. And this is one category where I think if you're gonna splurge, it should be on a tailored coat. I said it before, but it really is worth the investment, partly because it's the first thing that you see in winter. You know, it's something that you can also wear every single day and it's a huge chunk of your outfit because often your layers are hidden underneath a coat. So I would always say if there is a little bit of room in your budget to splurge, it should always be on a coat. And that doesn't have to be thousands and thousands. You know, this one was a little over 300, so still a splurge, but the quality is amazing. This one's from Reese and I love it to bits. So definitely a worthwhile one to add to your wardrobe. If you go very classic and it's always my kind of go-to rules of single breasted, slim cut in the arms and a mid length, super versatile as well. And just something that you'll return back to for so many years. So that is it for this video guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. I will leave the lists and the categories in the description section below. I will also try and find links for everything that I did show on screen. A lot of the items, as I mentioned, are quite a bit older. So where I can't find the exact item, I will try and find an alternative, but I will always mark where that item is an alternative as opposed to the exact piece that I showed on screen, if that makes any sense. If you do have any other questions for me, then leave me a comment down below. And if you enjoyed the video, please do give this a thumbs up. Up. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.